They are the poorest of the poor. They are part of Indian society known as the Dalits, the untouchables. For 2,000 years, they've been performing the most menial jobs simply because they were born into India's lowest caste. While the caste system is officially outlawed, the discrimination continues. So this is your house? Yes, my house. 17-year-old Kartika is from the Dalit caste. So you and your mom would sleep here? Yes. Everyone who is able works in this stone quarry. Her mother toils away every day, breaking stones by hand, earning just under $3 a month. This too would have been Kartika's fate. Instead, Dr. Abraham George found her and changed her life. Making the community better and children blossoming into something wonderful. I don't think there is anything that can substitute this. Dr. George is an American entrepreneur. After making his money on Wall Street, he was shocked by the continuing poverty in India. Get back! He came here and built a boarding school on 30 acres of scrubland. It is called Shanti Bhavan, Haven of Peace. His team fanned the countryside to find the right kids. 24 children willing to commit to rigorous study and to be separated from their families for most of the year. That was 14 years ago. Today, this school has over 200 students. What are some other important environmental... The teachers are all volunteers, many Americans. The students study in English. Human beings are interfering in the... Learn music and even design their own computer programs. Now, can we get all the things again? How did you come up with the idea? No, Big brain. Science. Hygiene, healthcare, and social responsibility are also in the curriculum. In contrast, the local school in the nearby village is a dirt floor and with few instructional tools. I can shape my future. Your life is in your hands. You don't, you don't let other people decide what you have to do. Her ambition? to study law next year and one day become the Prime Minister so she can help all of India. If one child is educated, that child will help a thousand more. Dr. George has retired from his work in the United States and concentrates full-time on developing plans to replicate Shanti Bhavan across India. This year, his very first group of students from 14 years ago are now college freshmen. So Dr. George has been a real big miracle in my life. Dr. George is more of a father than a founder. Dr. George has always been like a very good motivational factor. And she said, oh, please don't come One man's here. heart and his vision, helping children escape poverty one at a time. Yes. Lama Hassan, ABC News, Bangalore, India.